Fine dust in the air causes around 400,000 premature deaths in Europe per year, based on a current study by the European Environmental Agency, EEA. However, what are the terms, limit values and the different classifications of fine dust to consider in order to finally clarify the following question? Is the air we breathe clean or hazardous to our health? PM10 is the international name for fine dust. PM stands for particle matter. The dust particles are categorised by using their aerodynamical diameter. Simplified, this means PM10 includes all particles which are smaller than 10 microns. They are considered fine dust, since larger dust particles are mostly not breathed in by humans, but are filtered out before by the body. Finer particles, which are smaller than 2.5 microns, are thus PM2.5, and can reach the alveoli or air sacs. Most fine dust particles, however, are even smaller than that. Welding fumes, for example, consist mainly of ultra-fine particles which are smaller than 0.3 microns. The smaller a particle, the further it can penetrate the body. Ultra-fine particles reach the bloodstream via the air sacs and are thus harmful for all organs in the human body. In general, breathed-in particles can cause severe damage over time, including cancer, mainly of the respiratory tract. Currently, all known limit values for fine dust are specified in the unit weight of dust per cubic metre of air. Thereby, the limit values for outdoor air, on which the specifications by the World Health Organisation are orientated, are several times lower than specific values at the workstation. Another point that has received little attention today is the different assessment of healthy air. Larger particles weigh exponentially more than smaller particles. A particle which is 2.5 microns weighs approximately 65,000 times more than a 0.1 micron large particle. This means that in an industrial production or logistics hall, it is possible to have millions of ultra-fine, very light particles floating in the air without exceeding weight-related limit values. The invisible health impact for people there is thus immense. Discussions around fine dust will not stop. Since this danger is neither visible nor tangible and can only be measured with great difficulty, it is a complex topic which we are happy to advise you about. If you have any questions, please contact us.